Welcome to Vegas Coffee Talk. Welcome. We, welcome. <laughs> We're Chris and Ginger Vegas. We're both Las Vegas locals. And it's time for Coffee Talk or whatever beverage of your choice it is. That's right. Could be Water Talk then? Yeah, it could be Water Talk, Wine Talk. Club Seltzer. Club talk. Seltzer, Coca Talk. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you, guys. This, this uh, show is in uh, four different segments. We have four segments. We have What's Up in Vegas. What's up in our Vegas life as Las Vegas locals? And we have a mystery topic, and then we have a name that casino. We highlight Boom. a casino every week, and and you get to you get to see if you can guess which casino we're talking about. All right, so you want to kick this one off? Sure thing. Um, lots of things happening in Vegas this week. Uh, F1, which is always a disruption to the world of Vegas. F1. Yeah, it stands for Formula One. It's a Grand Prix type of racing, really high-end, expensive race cars, just tearing up the strip. And throughout all of Las Vegas, there's a track, there's grandstands. It, it literally transforms Vegas. So Bellagio um, is impacted by that probably the most right now with their trees being uprooted and placing grandstands and press boxes, you name it. It's all being built. And we have shorts out on that topic. So if you wanna see what that looks like, be sure and check that out. So lots of above people. That's yeah. going to be um, November 21st or through the 23rd. Yeah, I think. it's in November. So it's coming up. So yep. that's why they're tearing up our streets. Pylons all, all over the place. Gives. We were at Bellagio last night and it was, it took so long just to get down. Lots of people honking their horns. Anyway, yeah. a lot of locals are not very happy with the F1, but they were also happy. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship with F1. I think the more we have F1 happen, I believe we signed a 10 year contract. I'm not sure, but um, that's what I've heard. So I think we're, this will be better than last year. And as we do it more often, we'll we'll get it, get it yeah. right. So I think ticket prices have become more reasonable. Yeah, um, hotel up. stays are not quite as outrageous, but yeah, some local businesses like uh, Batista's Hole in the Wall is oh. one of the ones affected very negatively. And they've they have a lawsuit. filed lawsuits to try to recoup those uh, lost mm -hmm. funds. So. Um, we'll see how that turns yeah, out. Babe, I'd like to do a, a dinner review at Batista's Hole in the Wall. I went there a long time ago. It's a really yeah. cute place. It's been around for a while. Sounds like a great plan, Check. but you can't get there because of F1. <laughs> you so can't anyway, get there. we'll All do right. that another time. We, we have some fun dinner reviews. Check us out you on that. Talk about the trap. Yeah, the other thing that's going on. What's up here in Vegas is we have been prepping for a while on the um, goodbye, wish goodbye, farewell to the Tropicana, the Tropicana yep. implosion. So we're gonna cover that for you, but that's one thing that's happening. Uh, Tropicana uh, implosion will be happening October 9th, 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m. and we're gonna be covering it from? The Foundation Room. We're part of a handful of invited guests to the watch party. So we'll get to watch those drones form great displays in the air and do some fireworks and all that to kind of prep us for the and build the excitement for the implosion so yes why is all this happening babe why are they imploding the tropic uh, yeah now? because they, the property was purchased for the the a's baseball stadium some beautiful las renderings las vegas a's now so we're getting ready for them it's going to be beautiful we loved the tropicana when it was here yep. and so this is kind of like a really cool thing a cool way to say goodbye to it so we'll do a live stream and a video from the foundation room of the Tropicana implosion. So look forward to that. We're looking forward to that. So we're gonna have the Las Vegas A's, the Las Vegas Aces, the women's NBA team. And then we've got, of course, uh, the Las Vegas Golden Knights. So we've got yeah. uh, sports teams for days. Oh, did I leave out the Raiders? I was gonna say, what about the Raiders? The Raiders are kind of a big deal. So yeah. I love the Raiders. Go Vegas Raiders. is being transformed by the sports world. It's we need awesome. to do a coffee talk in some of our Raider gear sometime. Yeah, we might have to do that. Guys, we absolutely love living in Las Vegas. We chill and have just really down days, but we really bling it up and we bring it and we visit the strip and we're out on the town. I wanna say we're out in the town like four nights a week on the average, which is pretty fun, you know? Yep. What we hotel are we at right now, babe? <gasps> we're at the Chris and Ginger or the K&G Vegas Hotel. This is our home. Welcome it's our to Mojo our Dojo Casa. It's our Mojo. House. No, it's so, my dream home. Okay, Barbie, whatever. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Bellagio upgrades. I want yeah. to talk about that for a quick second. Okay. So the Bellagio has been around for a while now. Um, I, I want to say from the 90s. Is that right? Sounds right. Yeah. And so they've, they've committed 
500 million, so half a billion dollars in upgrades to the rooms. The 392 suites are being upgraded. I think that $150 million phase is complete now. Um, so they're trying to keep up with, you know, the times, keep up with the, the deck decor of the current day and, and not look so dated. So uh, kudos to them. I always love seeing properties reinvest in themselves to try to keep current and keep relevant. And the Bellagio is doing that. Don't know what the rest of the 550 million is going to look <laughs> like, but um, they're going to spend a lot of money to make the Bellagio even more beautiful. So we support that, of course. Yeah, we do support that. And we just love that so many casinos are investing in, in themselves. Yeah. And we were at the Rio a couple nights ago for our Top Dollar Tuesday. And wow, they, I mean, brand new tables felt, brand new chairs for all the table games, all the slot machines, brand new slot machines. Some of the slots were the same. Things are moved around. Beautiful, it's called luckily, um, little uh, sports book bar, but the food was really great. Yeah, it was really And good. it was supposed to be inspired from some stuff over at the Bellagio. But anyway, things are really improving and growing all over Vegas. But the Bellagio and the um, Rio are two of the ones that are really bringing it. So yes, kudos to you guys, keep it up. All right, you wanna talk about our Vegas life? Yeah, our Vegas life. I was kind of touching on that earlier, but um, we love our Vegas life. We just uh, recently celebrated our one year anniversary. That was uh, a, a few weeks ago, yep. um, about a month ago. And that was at Mandalay Bay, our Vegas life. We actually, listen guys, we actually spent the last week in Colorado. I'm like, so what do we do when we go to Colorado to visit our kids? We stay at a nice bougie hotel casino. The Monarch in Colorado, in Black Rock, Colorado. Yeah, the Monarch feels a lot like Vegas in Colorado. So it's this really weird juxtaposition of beautiful trees and mountains all around you and this nature and the wonderful Colorado vibe. But inside the hotel, it's Vegas, Vegas to the T. So it's really cool. It fits our needs real well. And more importantly, we get free rooms and lots of comps. So it's good. Yes. Remember, guys, Chris and Ginger Vegas never pay for a hotel room. Nope. Uh, we only stay where we're comped, and we're comped all over Vegas on a regular basis, but also in Colorado. Why? Because we play slots. Because we use uh, our rewards sometimes card. we 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 use our rewards cards. Um, sometimes we have hosts that help us. But right now, the main reason that we get these freebies is because of our re rewards cards. So use your rewards cards. So that's kind of a tongue twister. Heck yeah. All right, and then what else is happening in our life? Well, we were just talking about our Top Dollar Tuesday. Very successful. Thank you all for joining Heck our yeah. Top Thank Dollar Tuesdays. We have a blast. We have over 12,000 people that joined us the last couple Tuesdays. So and we have a blast. Yeah, almost yeah. a couple hundred subscribers, new yeah. subscribers. So welcome yeah. to Chris and Ginger Vegas Life. Loving all you guys joining up with our family and uh, awesome. just keep them coming. A good group, good group of people from all over the world. Yeah. all over the world um so we really really appreciate that scotland brazil yep everywhere germany yeah we Somewhere. did a wheel of fortune wednesday yeah, we last did. night we and did. it was where was that at babe that was at the bellagio and it was super fun we started out at the palms but the palms has lousy wi-fi sorry to be negative but it is what it is and so we had to bolt from the palms to the bellagio and it was traffic city so it was a little tough to get there but once we got there, had a really good Wheel of Fortune Wednesday. Ginger hit a $1,000 uh, jackpot on the wheel. And uh, more what? importantly, we got to go eat. Well, go ahead, babe, sorry. But I was gonna say, when, so far we've had two Wednesday, uh, Wheel of Fortune Wednesdays. Chris hit a thousand on the wheel, wheel and first the one. first one. And then I hit a thousand dollars on the wheel on the second one. And that's really fun. I think that's just going to be the way it happens every week every forever, week. right? It was right next to the 4,000. I was really wanting the 4,000. Oh, I know. Babe. That, was, that would have been nice. You, know, you don't want to be greedy, but hey, let's, let's do it. Let's but after Wheel of Fortune Wednesday, and thank you all who attended that uh, cool live stream, um, we went to Yellowtail. And Yellowtail was voted our uh, number one sushi restaurant for Vegas in 2023 and so we went there kind of thinking sushi right yeah we ended up with a uh, 14 ounce ribeye all cut and prepared we, we like ours medium mm. and it had a, a topping on it, it has sauces and I, I have never tasted a steak and trust me I have tasted a lot of steaks mm -hmm. in my life this one was the most flavorful steak I've ever had highly recommend getting that ribeye at Yellowtail and we also had, what was that, soft crab 
sushi? A soft crab uh, roll. We had roll, a soft yeah. crab roll. That was killer. Yeah. And, and edamame, right? They're edamame with their their chili sauce. It's a sweet, hot chili sauce. It's very special. And the the ambiance, everything about Yellowtail, and mostly their food is just their food is only gets better, and we love it. So. We showed up at nine o'clock. Um, ended up hitting sitting uh, on one of the high top chairs at the bar, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but we got we were seated right away. So. Uh, not always the case. It can be quite busy there, so I highly recommend you get reservations. But go to Yellowtail. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, or sit at the bar. Sometimes we sit at the bar, and we enjoy that as well. All right, so where are we going tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night we're going with friends to the Fountain Blue Ooh. Steakhouse. I think it's called Poppy. Poppy. So we're going to do a full review of that, and we are really looking forward to Fountain We love Fountain Blue. We love to play there. It's gorgeous. If you haven't yeah. been there yet, you really want to check it out. Even just to go in and walk around. They have a lot of art that's really spectacular. It really is. It, it has a vibe like no other on the Strip. It's very, very classy, very modern, very upscale. And you just feel really good when you walk up through there. Everything's clean, white, brilliantly done. All the deck decor is amazing. So yeah, make sure you get there, but mm -hmm. can't wait for that steak. <laughs> No, I, yeah, it's going to be really, really awesome. I'm excited about it. I heard some really great things about it. I can't remember. There's a couple different types of decor that they blended. Uh, so we'll let you know how that goes. So yep. really looking forward to that. Going there with our friends, Di and Chris. And um, what else? Well, we've got our mystery topic. You ready for oh. that? All right. Mystery topic is we play a lot of slot machines. What's no. your favorite slot machine? Sure we do. All right, so you probably most of you already know what our favorite slot machine is, but wow. everybody has a favorite slot machine, so what's yours? I'm not even sure what our favorite is. I know what your favorite is, babe. Which is that? Chris is kind of on a dragon train roll, dragon train roll. Yeah. So he really likes dragon train. What do you think my favorite is, babe? Dragon Link. You know what? I kind of like the higher limit dragon links. The ones that have the really big majors. Jumbo, is that Jumbo. how you say it, babe? Jumbo. Jumbo. <laughs> the, for some reason, I feel like those pay more often. And um, quite often we're playing $5, uh, you know, a spin anyway, sometimes $250, $5. I, sometimes we'll take it down and play some low ball. But if we're going to play $5, $250 or $5, I want to play on a high limit machine because it's going to pay me more. Well, especially with your record for majors. I mean, the majors on these machines run five, six, seven grand, and Ginger's won 37 majors of the lower Denom machines, which run from 500 to 1,000 each. And uh, I've only had like 30, uh, 34, I think, lifetime. So, um, well, yeah, we're trying some of those high limit ones. Somebody asked us just, I think it was last night on, on our live stream, What's your biggest win? Or maybe that's two nights ago. But anyway, what's your biggest win, babe? Just a $12,000 win on a top dollar machine, first pull. $12,000 at the Luxor. At the Luxor, top we'll dollar. Play, high limit room. $5 a credit, three credits, first pull, 12K. My biggest one was at the MGM Grand, where I got the Grand on Dragon Link and it was on a Happy Prosperous, and it was on a dollar fifty bet, and it dropped that last orb, and it was ten thousand six hundred forty something like yep. that. Pretty amazing. So I that still haven't got fun. one of those yet. So, so you I know, will. all in all, we do pretty good on pretty pretty good on the slots. So we do. We like them. They're fun. Okay, babe. Okay, let's do it. We're hitting the home stretch here. Um, we love to do the name that casino. Give you three different clues, and then you get to guess what we're talking about here. So. Uh, first clue for name that casino is, it's three hotels in one. Where else do you get that? That's pretty awesome, huh? All right, number two. Its neighbors are super funny. Super funny. Kind of comical even. Fun, fun guys, fun neighbors. And number three, it has a full length LED marquee on the side of its building. So not just the little sign thing out front on the on Las Vegas Boulevard, but the entire side of the building is lit up and it's always displaying everything under the sun from mm -hmm. who's 
performing there to what the latest event is. It's really, really cool. Uh -huh. And it's really, really bright. We can see it from our I house. I think I know. Is the pepper mill across the street from it? It is. Okay. Is it a newer casino? It is. Is it red? It's red. <laughs> Is it Resorts World? It is, and it's an entire <laughs> world of resorts. The three hotels are the Conrad, Croxford, Croxfords, and Hilton. And we've stayed in the Hilton like several times. Yeah, several Haven't times. stayed in Croxfords or Conrad yet, but we will. We'll get there. Yeah. But yeah, love the Resorts World. It's been really good to us with uh, majors on Dragon. It has. Week, so. You know, across the street though from the Resorts World, isn't something supposed to be going in there? Next stuff out Yeah, that was the one we mentioned a few coffee talks ago. It's a whole new complex they're building, two 600-foot towers of residential and uh, no casinos there, 400-foot uh, amusement tower, so it's going to have shopping, mm. it's going to have, get, you know, okay, fun. Yeah, I forgot about it's that. going to be a whole event right there next to the Fountain Blue. Okay, so was... that end of the strip is starting to get some love, it's starting to get some money, and I think as the years go by, we're going to see that end of the strip be as powerful and as exciting as what we see down uh, on the end with the MGM and and uh, Aria, Cosmo, Bellagio, you name it. So good to see it all fill in. All righty. Okay. Thank you all for joining us on our evening coffee talk, which if you're not really sure what Chris does, the coffee talk stuff that he does, check out the Saturday Night Live, the SNL coffee talk skit. And that's where he gets a lot of his impersonations from. I highly recommend them. Go figure. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. And we'll see you soon. See you soon, guys. Thank you. Thank you.